what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital And today we're going to be blasting Kill Town Denmark's Undergang Til Duden Os Skiller. Fucking so, so heavy, vile, and everything you expect from an Undergang record. So fucking good. Recorded in 2011. And the layout was revisited in August 2017. I do love the layout here. Kill Town Death Metal. And this lineup of Wunda Gang was sick as well. And uh, Dave's Dreadlocks. I just want to point these out. I'm not trying to jock your style, Dave, man. But, like, that's the type of dreads I'm trying to grow. Where I'm kind of trying to get my hair, you know, used to going behind my ears and just letting this dread down and see what happens. I mean, fuck it, why not? But all I know is this is the only full length by Undergang I do not have on vinyl. But it sounds great on cassette, extremely rotten productions. Fuck yeah. Til Duden Os Skiller. So fucking sick. And speaking of sick, I like sick. We're gonna be talking about maggot stomps, rotted, dying to rot. New tunes from rotted after the fiasco that was the pestilent tomb vinyl release. If you can get your hands on this bad boy, not only is this one of my favorite United States modern death metal releases, it sounds a million times better than the cassette version, and I have no idea why this was not released properly stateside. It's a goddamn bummer because this sounds amazing on wax. Nuclear Abomination Records, if you can get a hold of this label and you can afford this, fucking do it. Seriously, I'm so thankful that my homie Dennis snagged me a copy from Dylan when Dylan had some copies in his possession because this thing is completely missing in action. I'm sure you can find a copy on Discogs for $69 or some shit, but... On Dying to Rot, the cassette version here, I have some bad luck with Maggot Stomp releases. This legitimately sounds like someone got a wet blanket and just threw it over my, like, speakers and stuff. Very, very quiet, quiet mix. But when I listened to it digitally, I was like, yo, this is fucking sick. I was so stoked to do a tape trade to get this and thank you Aaron for doing that tape trade and I was just like no like fuck but it's all gravy these things happen but I think the CD's still available so I'm keeping my fingers crossed for like a 7 inch or something but dying to rot I think it's cool that Dylan Jones is no longer just a one-man metal machine that mixes a great blend of old Midwest death metal with a nice dab of some early 90s Finnish, early Swedish death metal. I'm looking at you, Crematory and Demilic, but on the United States side of things, Cyanide, fucking Autopsy, Fetid, your usual suspects at this moment in time. But you know who Rotted really sound like? Rotted. But at the same time, America's answer to Undergang. And I think it's fucking sick. 
I really, really like the progression on Dying to Rot. Like, as much as I love Pestilent Tomb, the four songs on here, I really can't wait to hear more of. And I just wish I could enjoy it a little bit better physically. I mean, it looks like it's a nice hard shell tape, but sadly, it doesn't really sound that way. But I'm not holding that against Rotted or anything like that because I know these songs are fucking awesome and we have Dylan Jones on guitar bass and vocals and Julian Water on drums cover art by Dylan Jones great job and uh, Jessica Barron took the photos thanks to all our families and friends for the support stay rotted Rotted wear Pit Viper sunglasses exclusively. Please stop with that trend, people. Seriously. I don't get it. I mean, but whatever. I like wearing sunglasses. And I do love the Death Row Maggot Stomp logo. It's fucking dope. And the Stop the Week shit. Old school, like, little, you know, mail order thing. But, uh... Weak shit is no fun. Weak shit endangers the lives and happiness of millions. It must stop. We appeal in particular to the young cavemen and women of today. Life is better with no weak shit. Maggot Stomp supports the Do Caveman Shit campaign in the fight against weak shit. Join us. What about us old cavemen and women? But nah, seriously, this is fucking sick shit. Four tracks of heavy, heavy fucking death metal from Rotted. Everything you've come to expect from a band that is actually named after what they sound like. And a release like Dying to Rot. My favorite track on here is probably Visions of Decay. But you also have Wounds. Liquefied, Dying to Rot, and Visions of Decay. Four tracks of utterly crushing, filthy death metal. I just wish this sounded a little bit better on cassette, but like I said, it's a fucking demo. These things happen. It's whatever. But I just look at it as like I'm listening to a promo, and then it's, you know, whatever. But still, digitally, this sounds so goddamn good and I'm so stoked for Dylan and I'm stoked for Julian as well and they're playing a very gnarly gnarly show coming up it's like rotted nucleus cerebral rot fetid and I think there might be one more band it's fucking re goddamn ridiculous and I can't wait for fucking Hopefully, to be able to get to one of the Tri-State Area Cerebral Rot Fetid dates. Altar of Gore is playing the St. Vitus date. So I'm like, I need to get the fucking St. Vitus. Like, holy shit. But, Rotted, Dying to Rot. A great little taste of what's to come from Rotted as a duo now. And, like I said... The cassette was kind of a bummer. I just had very bad luck, it seems, with Maggot Stomp releases. And it's definitely not my cassette deck. I just have shitty, shitty luck. But this release right here is fucking awesome. If you're a fan of death metal, this is death metal written by one of the biggest fans of death metal I know. And it says it right there. If you like your death metal rotted, and you're dying to rot, dive into this little EP, demo, whatever you want to call this bad boy, and enjoy some Midwest death metal. And if you get a chance, if you can grab this on CD, cassette, but most of all, if you can get a copy of the Nuclear Abominations vinyl version, yo. This is so fucking good. 
I love Pestilent Tomb, I love Rotted, and it's awesome now to have pretty much everything. I have, this thing is dead. I seriously wore this into the ground. The original head split. First, I, I hate calling a cassette a first press, but the second one, silver. So if your copy silver, enjoy some rotting death metal from Rotted on Pestilent Tomb. And if you were lucky enough to grab one of the cassettes from Maggot Stomp, they sold out like almost immediately. But they do have CD copies available, and it's available digitally. Dying to Rot by Rotted, very, very enjoyable. Fingers crossed for a 7 inch or even a 12 inch, I'd be fucking stoked on. But in the meantime, I'm gonna still enjoy Pestilent Tomb and Dying to Rot. It's fucking sick. And that's all you really need to know. If you're a fan of Undergang, yeah, chances are you are going to devour this like vermin. And we were blasting Copenhagen, Denmark's Undergang, Kulduden Askler. Extremely Rotten Productions, Kill Town fucking Death Metal. Great release right here. Awesome, awesome stuff. It sucks, like, if I had a plane ticket to Copenhagen, I could go to Kill Town Death Fest, but lo and behold, I didn't even have money for coffee this morning, which was a fiasco in itself, but... Get into some Undergang if you're new to the game, and also if you're new to the game and you like Undergang, get into some Rotted, because you'll be dying the rot in no time. Maggot Stomp Productions, or Maggot Stomp Records, I don't know what they want to be called, but sick death metal for fucking sickos like you watching this video. But, as always, thanks for watching. Thank you, Aaron, for doing that tape trade. Much appreciated. And, yeah, like I was saying, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. <laughs>